Sales have been tracked by the sales department. The table below shows the company's sales each year beginning in 2000. Let T be the year since 2000, I be the item sold, and S of T be the sales function. So looking at the table, the first column gives the value of T, which should be considered the function input. And the second column gives us the items sold in thousands, which should be the function value S of T, or the function output. Looking at part A, we're first asked, what were the sales in the year 2003? We need to recognize that for the year 2003, because 2003 is three years after the year 2000, the year 2003 is represented by the value T equals three. So looking at the first column, notice how Here's where t equals three, and when t equals three, the item sold in thousands is 34, or we can say the function value S of t equals 34, and therefore in the year 2003, the number of items sold was 34,000. And notice how the units of thousand items is already given. Part B, we're asking what year were the sales 42,000, so because now we're given the items sold in thousands, which should be the function output, we look for a value of 42 in the second column. Notice how 42 only occurs once in the second column here. And notice how when the number of items sold is 42,000, t equals five, or the input is five, and therefore this would be the year 2000 plus five, or the year 2005. Part C asks us to determine the function value S of one. Using function notation, S of one tells us the function input, or in our case, the value of T equals one. So now we look for a one in the first column, which occurs here. And notice how when T equals one, the output or function value, which gives the items sold in thousands, is equal to 47 and therefore S of one equals 47. And now for part D, we're given the equation 41 equals S of T, solve for T. Well, because we're given S of T equals 41, we know the function value or function output is 41, so we look for a 41 in the second column. Notice how 41 only occurs once in the second column, which is here, and when the output or function value is 41, the input or t value is four, which gives us our solution. Our solution is t equals four. Again, because looking at the table, we know s of four equals 41. When the input or t value is four, the output or function value equals 41. I hope you found this helpful.